guys. Let's see. Am I in focus? Hold on. Hi. <laughs> Happy New Year. I know it's been quite a long time since I have done any sort of YouTube, really anything. I would say probably about two years. Yeah, I think the last video I did was probably right before I lost my mom. So, yeah. Jess and I are getting ready to take our trailer out. I think this is also another new addition. I don't think that I've shared this on my channel. We bought this, yeah, 2020. So, we bought it uh, mid-pandemic. And we are getting ready to take it out for our first trip of the year. We're going to the coast for a week. We're taking the whole fam bam all four dogs and the turtle. Is everybody ready to go camping? Say hi, Ashby girl. Say hi, bully boy. Hi, Sassy. Shepherd, sit. 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 Wait. Say hi to YouTube. All right. We are somewhat on the road. We left the house. Hey, Shep. Hey, buddy. This is our rescue. Chris saw someone leave him, toss him something out like on a one lane highway on his way to work about a year ago and then called me at like seven in the morning. Oh wait, hold on. Do you want to have it? Sure, hi babe. Hi, we have to walk. walk. Or get it. Do you want to walk? Or I can go get it. Okay. I'll get it. He like called me at seven in the morning and he was like, hey, I'm on my way home. He's like, but I'm coming home with a surprise. And I was like, what's the surprise? And he goes, I'm coming home with a puppy. And in my head, I was like a puppy, like small, right? Small puppy. I uh, no, came home with this guy. He is, well, he's 95 pounds now. But that was a year ago. I think when we got him, he was like, 45 pounds and he was only six months old. I'll um, insert a clip here, a couple photos of him so you can see what he looked like when Chris brought him home. Um, he looked like a puppy. Now he looks like such a young man. Sheppy. But anyways, that's that's how we got Shep. So that, I got an email notification because we did early check-in and it gives us like our, our site number and all of that. And I'm like looking at the site number and I'm looking at the map and I'm thinking, mm, this isn't gonna work because with the hitch, this thing is 35 feet. So and they had us like backed up against this wall and I'm like, this cannot be right. Plus we have two massive pop outs and I'm thinking, this isn't gonna work. And so then I'm getting in a bad mood. And then I told Chris, I said, you know what, forget it. I'm just gonna call them. So I call them, I'm on the phone for like 30 minutes and she's like, uh, what size is your rig and I'm like 35 feet and she's like oh yeah this site this site can only fit a 24 what like no ma'am that's clearly not gonna work I said that I, like just, no all around no not not gonna work so she's going back and forth and she's like oh well maybe next time please tell us the size of your rig and you know whether or not you have pop outs ma'am we have stayed there many many times over the last two years our the size of our rig has not changed papa what are you doing why are you sitting like that hi papa shake oh good boy i love you Oh, you the sweetest boy in the whole world. Hi, Shepard. <sighs> How are you, Sheldon? You good? You look tired. Everything on the Idaho murders. What happened? He's terrifying. Look at that. Match up not being the last face you see before you die.
We're gonna have some Kaluga caviar, straight from Markey's, delivered directly from New York City. And some creme fraiche. I don't know why nothing is focusing. Caviar, creme fraiche, and then some of these organic corn chips from Trader Joe's. Come on, babe. Come have some caviar. It looks amazing. What looks amazing about it? Everything looks amazing. I'm what? so excited. Ooh, and then we got mussels for tomorrow. What What about this is it looks amazing to you? All of it. It just explain, looks so good. Explain what looks so good about it. Smell it. it. Smells good. It's very earthy. Earthy. Shut up. Did you heard that bitch say this? <laughs> it's fucking earthy. Come on, get a chip. Are you ready? Are you gonna have the first bite? No, you are. Me? Yes. Let's do it together. Well then, Come make, on. make them then. Okay, I'll make you a chip. Do you like creme fraiche? Yeah, I know. like this though. You're about to like it. That's what you think. Okay. Are you excited? I am thrilled. I look crazy. Cheers. What do you think? I don't know. I think I really you put like... too much creme fraiche. Okay, let's try it again. Don't be a bitch. Just do that. So rude. I know. You you paid a lot of money for this. You I better, know, it was $100. You better figure out what it tastes like. Get it, girl. I feel like it's hard to tell with the salty-ass corn chip. I think that's salty, too. I think I like it. I think that's going to be... Know. She's just trying to be bougie as I think whatever. that's going to be like our new thing. Not for fucking $90 a little. Good morning. It's 10.54. Let's go find Chris. Good morning, babe. Kind of warm today after raining all night. Babe, where's your coffee? Good morning, girls. Morning, handsome. Morning, beautiful. Look at the steam coming off that one. Ooh, ooh. I have a conference call in five minutes. And then, I don't know. What are we gonna do today, babe? Wanna go to the outlets today? Looks so pretty set up. Should turn some music on. And then the little playpen for the girls. Where are we going? Uh, okay. Good morning, Baltimore! Did you ever see that movie? Hairspray? No. no. You should ask Michelle about it. I used to sing that movie like every day, watch it on repeat. That and Grease. Good thing I didn't step on the mat. <laughs> so we just got back to the trailer and Ashby decided to take a big shadoobie on the floor. Do you feel better? I'm kind of bummed because if you guys like grew up coming to Pismo like I did. The outlets used to be like bomb.com. That's where my mom would always take me to like go school shopping. And Chris and I were here for spring break and we went shopping there and like all the stores are gone. And I don't know if COVID attributed to that, but like, I don't know. A lot of the stores that are in there now are like, like garbage stores, you know? So. I don't know why I was like hoping, expecting like maybe an Ulta or a Sephora or like a high-end store. I think the most high-end store they have there is like the coach store, which is fine. Whoa. It's raining. It's pouring. 
snoring. The old man is snoring. <laughs> we had cinnamon rolls for breakfast. And coffee. I attempted to clean. Sunny tomorrow, sunny Saturday, rainy Sunday. Great, when we leave. That'll be fun packing up. In the rain. Hey. So, hey. So it's Thursday about 10 till 11 and <clears throat> I just got back to our trailer. I left Chris with our friends. I just have a really gnarly headache today. I know this is weird, but if you've ever lost a parent, um, it like comes in waves. My mom's been gone a year now and I just like miss her so much and my heart hurts and I get super sad and I get like in this like funk and I just don't want to be around people because I don't want like my sadness to like bring people down. Oh, good morning, Papa. You look so handsome with your little sweater. Time. You're a funny young man. You're a funny man. It was disappointing. Love you. I was definitely frustrated with that. Love you. What are you doing? <laughs> Hi, my little angels. <laughs> oh, is he sleeping? My little teddy bear. You're so cute in your little sweaters. <laughs> Shepherd.